Hey everyone, so today I'm just filming a video where I get to show you how I get my blonde hair because I'm naturally like medium. I have like pretty medium brown hair, like if you can tell by my atrocious roots. <laughs> I think they look kind of dark because they're against like blonde, but my hair naturally like, isn't that dark. I even had kind of natural like blonde highlights when I was brunette, but yeah, it's just like this medium brown color. And kind of a backstory, I've actually been getting highlights since I was nine years old, and I know that sounds crazy. Hold on. Basically, I like con my parents into thinking that the other one thought that they said yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Like my dad was like no and my mom said no and I was like mom but daddy said yes and she was like really? And I was like yeah. So then she let me get highlights and my dad was like Heidi why did you let her get highlights? And she was like Dan I didn't you did and then I got in trouble but since then, I've had blonde hair, except for my freshman year, I dyed it brown, but I just feel like I belong, like, being a blonde. Like, everyone's like, Gretchen, like, I couldn't imagine you with brunette, or, like, Gretchen, like, I feel like you just are supposed to be blonde. Like, blonde looks better on you anyway, which is funny, because I'm, like, naturally brunette, but I just love having blonde hair, and I'm actually going to get highlights in a couple minutes with my favorite hairdresser ever. I'm obsessed with Joe. I love her so much. She is so nice, and it is just great, and I guess I'll just, you know, I'm just gonna tell you, like, where she works, because if you are from my area, you need to get your hair done by her like she's literally amazing like I love her she's saved my hair in the past she's done like the best highlights in the life I've ever had she's always done my hair for prom she's amazing her name is Jill she works at Ambiance Salon I believe it is in Albany or Latham maybe Latham yeah so check her out amazing tell her I sent you I love her to bits but yeah I'm going in like a couple minutes okay so what I wanted to tell you is that basically I just get blonde highlights all over my head either I'll get a full set or a partial and a partial just means I think they focus on like the top and like the front and like it's just like less highlights you know but full set is just like everywhere and also what you can tell your hairdresser if you want the same hair as me no I'm just kidding but um what I like is I like having the darkness underneath so I leave the very back on the bottom just out of the highlights completely because I like having that darkness under I think it just helps balance like all the blonde you know and I don't like getting too blonde so also sometimes if I'm feeling like my hair is getting really blonde or too like bleach blonde or something I'll have her throw in some low lights and I just get some brown like low lights in my hair and I feel like people don't understand the concept of low lights basically if you don't know what low lights are it's just like highlights is getting blonde streaks in your hair and low lights is just getting brown streaks in your hair so sometimes I'll get some of that and as you can tell roots are pretty bad right now they're probably like an inch out I don't even know I usually I will honestly I just don't even care that much like I will wait two to three months even between getting my highlights done I remember when I was younger I was crazy and I like hated having roots I would go every single month and like kill my hair but now I pretty much go like every three months and it's harder since I go to college in Boston so I'm not home to go to Jill because I will not let anyone other than Jill touch my hair so I have to wait till I come home to have an appointment you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna go get my hair done I might get a little trim I really don't want to get a trim but it's kind of gross at the end so I'm just gonna get I think a tiny trim and I'll show you what it looks like after so we won't have any of that going on anymore and also when I'm done I'll show you kind of hair care and what I do to maintain my blonde because if you get blonde highlights It can tend to get a little bit brassy and not as bright So I have ways of like coping with that which I will show you when I get back. So yeah, wish me luck I hope it goes well. I know it will and I'll see you when I get back. Hey guys, so I'm back Look and no more roots. Yay. It's seriously so Blonde. I love it. I might get low lights next time I go like I was saying earlier because it's getting like very very blonde and I don't like to be like full head blonde I like to have some like darkness which I have underneath but I like to have some darkness like threaded through you know but look at it's so blonde you know I'm gonna switch where I'm sitting because this lighting isn't good anymore since it's like dusk and it's getting dark out so hang on all right I hope this lighting is better but as you can see like I was saying my hair is very very blonde and I'm very happy I don't have roots oh and also if you can't tell I didn't end up getting a trim because I was like Jill what do you think like do I need a trim and she was like no nah, I don't think so we can wait till next time and I was like yes because like I don't like getting my hair cut like I want it to be long again so I didn't get a trim but I'm happy she said I didn't think I needed to I mean I think I sort of do like it's a little stringy at the ends probably some of you were like it's so nice you have 10 ends blah blah but like I don't care I just want my hair to be long and I just wanted to get on into the section where I'm going to show you basically what I've been doing with my hair and how I keep up with the maintenance of keeping blonde hair because it can be pretty tricky. I'm just gonna be showing you what I've been using the most recently and what I've been loving and how I get my hair to look like this. So I've been using this shampoo and conditioner from e Salon and I love this shampoo and conditioner. If you guys watch my vlogs on my vlog channel, Gretchen and Lucy, go check it out. If you don't subscribe already, we make vlogs like every day. But I know I talked about this in there because I've been loving it. I've been using it for the past like month or so and it smells so good. Like I can't even describe the scent to you. Like 
It just smells really good, so I definitely like that. And what I like the most is that these are specifically for color treated hair because I didn't really use color treated specific like shampoos and conditioners before this. And I truly think it's such a good idea because these don't have sulfates and they don't have really harsh chemicals that will fade your colored hair because that's definitely like a concern. Like blonde hair is pretty hard to maintain. These are also both gentle and like daily shampoos and conditioners, which is really good because they're specifically like formulated to be gentle so that it doesn't like strip your hair color, you know. And then also what I've been using is the Perfect Ending Leave-In Conditioner. And guys, I cannot even talk enough about just leave-in conditioners. Okay, so my philosophy behind this is like I've always used leave-in conditioners because I just think they help so much. And for me, my hair gets pretty dry normally since I do like bleach it a bunch. So I definitely always use a leave-in conditioner once I get out of the shower. And especially this one I really like because I've used ones in the past that are really heavy and they like weigh your hair down. And you can feel like a backup like residue in it. But this I don't at all. I really like this because it's like lightweight enough that it doesn't weigh down your hair but it still like conditions your hair and I like it too when I get out of the shower my hair is wet because it's usually like all in knots my hair gets really knotty but when I use this it helps me like comb out my hair too and also I think I noticed with using this leave-in conditioner is that it makes your hair less frizzy and you don't have like flyaways which is like seriously a must like I usually up here I get pretty like fluffy like flyaways and stuff I have pretty straight hair naturally it's like kind of wavy if you saw in the first clip before I got my hair done that was my natural hair it's like almost like this like it's fairly straight it has some wave and this is straightened a little bit it's gotten like a little wavy right here in the front since it's been you know tucked behind my ear for a while so my hair naturally I would say is like fairly straight maybe with a little wave but pretty much just straight so I think this would be good on straight hair it would be good on really curly hair it would be good on just like wavy hair because I think any hair could use a good like leave-in conditioner you know pro tip my number one thing is if you are going blonde and you have brown hair you girl you need like a purple shampoo or a purple treatment or purple toner something like that like purple shampoo purple toner purple treatment it will save your life I'm not kidding I've tried like various purple shampoos in the past and those are always good and this specifically I've been using recently and this is like literally a lifesaver so I think I touched on it earlier but basically if you're going blonde from having brown hair your hair has to lift to a certain level to like get that blonde that you want so it starts off like this brown color and then it gets like a light brown and then it turns this kind of brassy like orange which you don't don't want well I mean maybe if you do want like orange hair like that's good on you like go for it but like I personally don't want orange hair and really warm toned blonde just does not look good on me I think it's just something with my like skin tone or my eyes I don't know I just don't like the way it looks and I've made that mistake so many times where either like the dye wasn't left in long enough or it wasn't like the strong enough kind or like the high enough level of bleach do you know what I'm saying so literally purple shampoo will change your life I'm gonna try to explain to you like the way my hairdresser did I hope I don't screw anything up but so if you think about it Say your hair has been bleached and you're trying to get it like really blonde like this or maybe even a little bit blonder. And if it's looking orangey, brassy and you don't want it like that, the reason is is because it's not like toned enough. So toner will save your life. Like it will completely transform the color of your hair, especially if you use it like after you dye it. So if you think about it, like the orange color on like the color wheel is completely opposite of like the purpley blue. You actually want to use this really dark purpley blue color for like a treatment or a shampoo and it will lift your hair to this nice like bleach blonde like white color because that's what I'm looking for and I know a lot of people especially people that want to go like the silvery more like gray route like really cool tone blonde basically the way they do it is just a heck of a lot of toner <laughs> So I've been using this Tinted Love once in a while for the past like month. You definitely don't want to use like a treatment like this every single day, but maybe once a week or whenever you're noticing your hair is getting kind of brassy. And literally for my blondes out there that don't know what I'm talking about, like literally if I can recommend one thing, it would be to get like a purple shampoo or a purple treatment like this because it will like transform your hair. And when you're noticing your hair is getting kind of dull and like orange. And I know some people just get highlights all the time because they want that like nice bright blonde, but literally you don't need to. All you need to do is use like a nice purple treatment like this or purple shampoo. I feel like I've been talking so much about this, but literally like this is gold like I'm not kidding guys it revives hair color it adds shine it's for all hair types like yes basically just like intensifies like the tone in your hair and like refreshes your hair color and also I know on their website they have like 20 different shades of this so whatever hair color you are like it'll help like intensify your hair and like refresh it so you don't have to get it like dyed as much so if I haven't talked enough about it I'm trying to like think of it like basically like it's basically like neutralizing like the orange in your hair if you even care what I'm talking about <laughs> and also you just leave it on for like two or three minutes like between when you shampoo and condition your hair that's at least how I do it and what I've noticed and I've made this mistake before but some people do it like on on purpose where if you leave this in too long it will start turning your hair like that nice silvery even light purple color so if you want to go for like a silver or like light purple hair color just leave this in for a while and your hair will like literally turn silver because I've done that before and I'm like hmm and I just wait for it to like fade out because I, I just like this nice bright like bleach blonde highlights I don't want like purpley silver hair but some people do so 
keep that in mind. And also I haven't had a chance to try these out yet, but I'm really excited to. This is just the Shining Armor Renewing Treatment Oil, and this is the Without a Trace Dry Shampoo. And I use dry shampoo all the time, especially, well right now I don't have roots, but especially when I do have roots, I like using dry shampoo. I notice it helps like neutralize and like fade like the brown in the top, like into my blonde, you know? So I like using like the white like dry shampoos and like help with blending it in like that. So I know I'm gonna like this. And also the Renewing Treatment Oil, I like to use on my hair. Like especially like now I would use it because it's like kinda dry, like I just got it highlighted. So I just take a tiny amount and just like go like that through my hair. So I'm really excited to try these two and literally these four things that I just talked about are like gold. So if you go to eSalon.com slash Gretchen, you can actually get three products for $15, which I think is such a good deal. Or you can check out the link in my description box. And if you just want 50% off any of these products, I have so many I'm showing you. Then again, just check the description box link down below. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it when it comes to my blonde hair. Definitely just using products that are tailored to colored hair and like highlighted hair specifically, like shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair and using a toner like, oh my gosh, I know I talked about it so much, but using a toner or purple shampoo or a purple treatment like this, like you need it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. What the heck? What was that? I'm scared.